Okay, we are back at the track. I think this is workout technically number nine. And we're about a month into the track training. So this is more like, let's say, a time trial. So yeah, we're going to do a 1600 meter time trial. I'm trying to figure out what makes the most sense. I'm thinking like 75, 75, 75, 75. So you just go five minute pace and then pick it up on the last lap. But I'm thinking I should take advantage of that start. So maybe like a 72, 73, and then 75 is the rest of the way. And then maybe like a 68 to end it with. So that would be two seconds and then seven seconds. So that'd be like 450 something, like 452 ish. So yeah, I'm debating. <laughs> But the more, I guess, anxious that I, I'm not planning this, the more I can just back up onto a different one. So I want to try to keep like mentally strong and try to make sure that I get under five minutes for this one. And then for the next one, try to get closer to 440. I'm not sure I'm quite there yet, but this will be the real test. Okay, that was not so great. Really tough mile. Conditions, I think, are pretty good. It's like in the low 70s Fahrenheit, and humidity is up a little bit, but that's not too bad for like a mile run. So, yeah, I mean, end up running five minutes 13 for the 1600 meters. So, very far off of where I wanted to be, like 20 second seconds off. And, I mean, Last two days I've been, I've had a couple alcoholic beverages, so uh, also seemed to slow me down too, but let's get the excuses out of the way. So first lap at the 200 meters, I was like right around 30 seconds. So then I slowed down quite a bit and then ended up doing the first lap in like right around 70, 70, uh, 75 so the first lap was not as fast as I wanted it to be so it really all went downhill from there so that probably doesn't help my case but honestly just to tell you what was going on in my head while I was running and finishing out the third third loop I was like I don't want to finish and something a flip of the switch made me finish probably faster than the third lap was on the fourth lap so that's progress I think you're always afraid to fail but it's okay because that helps you grow so I think today was definitely a learning lesson and I want to take these learnings to the next workout and see how we can improve but 513 not a bad mile but we want to get faster, we want to get closer to the five minute barrier. So that's with a month of training. I think if I started, I'd probably be like just under six minutes. So I didn't do a time trial at the beginning, but those again are always kind of tough to gauge because it's all, it's all in my head. I don't think the speed is getting to me. I think it's, it's in my head, but there you have it. That's the update for this week. And We'll see you again in the next track update. Thank you for watching. Another thing of note is that I'm still learning how to inhale and exhale out of my nose. And I was inhaling and exhaling out of my nose for the full three laps. And then the last lap is when I started to panic and started just breathing out of my, or in my nose, out of my mouth. And that might be a good medium to take or just to take note because yeah, I was definitely panicking on the last lap, just thinking, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be here. But I think something that can help me in the future is to work on some of the 1200s and then do a 400 afterwards or work on 800s and thousands because those are longer intervals than the 400s or the 200s. Those I tend to be able to be more mentally strong because
the distance is less far. So what we're gonna implement are longer intervals, thousands, 1200s, because I think that's, that's the key to getting all this done.